Science of Energy, Critical Concepts Video Series, Video 5, Monopolar Electrosurgery, Technology and Principles of Electricity. This video will cover Monopolar Electrosurgery Systems, Properties of Electricity for Surgeon Control, Power Density and Tissue Effects, and Electrosurgery Waveforms and Tissue Effects. Monopolar and bipolar devices both use electricity to heat targeted tissue, whereas bipolar devices pass electricity only between the jaws of the device. Monopolar devices pass current through the patient. To use monopolar safely and effectively to heat, coagulate, and cut tissue, it is important to understand both electrosurgical systems and the principles of electricity. Monopolar Electrosurgery Systems Electrosurgery has a long history in the OR and has evolved from old techniques for tissue coagulation. Each technique is distinct and uses a different approach to generate heat to achieve hemostasis. Cautery is the process of heating up a metal instrument and applying it to the tissue. Electrocautery uses electricity to heat a metal end effector, which is then applied to tissue. Monopolar energy is classified as electrosurgery. It passes alternating current through the patient to coagulate and cut tissue. The technology is often commonly referred to as BOVI, which is the last name of the inventor of the technology. Electrosurgery systems are designed to safely use electricity to heat tissue and control the current to achieve the desired tissue effect. Monopolar electrosurgery requires the patient's body to complete the circuit. The surgical device operates as the active electrode. At the other end of the electrical circuit is the indifferent electrode, also called the return electrode, or ground. In this circuit, the current flows from the active electrode, through the patient, to the return electrode, and back to the generator. The generator uses alternating current, which oscillates back and forth hundreds of thousands of times per second. Alternating current is measured in hertz, or the number of cycles per second. Electrical nerve and muscle stimulation occurs with currents alternating below 100 kHz. With monopolar electrosurgery, the current operates at well above 100 kHz, resulting in zero nerve or muscle stimulation. Principles of Electricity and Control Modern electrosurgery generators use the principles of electricity and balance voltage, power, and the resistance encountered from tissue impedance to deliver the desired tissue effect. If an electrical current is impeded, it will find an alternate, less resistant path to complete the circuit. In electrosurgery, the most common source of tissue resistance is desiccation, or the loss of moisture when heat is applied. Tissue conductivity is proportional to its water and salt content. Blood is the most conductive, and adipose tissue is the least conductive. This explains why different tissue types may require more time and energy to achieve the desired tissue effect. At home, common electric appliances run on variable power and constant voltage. However, standard electrosurgical generators generally deliver constant power and variable voltage to provide controlled tissue effects. Ohm's law defines the basic relationship of the generator's voltage to current and tissue resistance. Voltage equals current times resistance. Current, measured in amps, is the amount of electrons flowing through the circuit. To help understand this relationship, think of a car traveling at 60 miles per hour on cruise control. In this metaphor, the engine represents voltage and the desired speed of 60 miles per hour represents current. Upon encountering resistance, shown here as a hill, the engine must increase its driving force, increasing the voltage, to overcome gravity to maintain the 60 miles per hour speed. Upon reaching the summit, the engine must reduce its driving force to preserve the speed decreasing the voltage. Otherwise, the reduced gravitational resistance will cause the car to drive too fast, resulting in increased and unneeded voltage on targeted tissue. The second important relationship is power equals voltage times current, which explains how voltage changes when encountering resistance. In surgery, the generator, which delivers constant power, is set to a given power level. When the monopolar instrument encounters resistance in the tissue, the generator responds by increasing the voltage and decreasing the current. Power density and effects on tissue. Surgeons use the generator's controls to minimize the level of tissue damage when coagulating and cutting with monopolar electrosurgery. They must also be mindful that the extent of damage or tissue injury is governed by the power density or the amount of energy concentrated in an area. 
The smaller the area of contact, the greater the tissue damage. Current passing through structures of a small cross-sectional area will also be concentrated and can result in unintended thermal injury. It's recommended that new monopolar users start the procedure with a lower power setting, then increase as needed for the desired tissue effect. If using a needle tip, begin with a low power range, for example 5 to 10 watts. A ball tip with a larger surface area will require a higher power setting. Electrosurgery Waveforms and Effects on Tissue Surgeons can select from three main types of electrosurgical waveforms, cut, blend, and coagulation. The cut waveform cuts through tissue, and the coagulation waveform coagulates tissue. The difference in the waveforms is the amount of time the electricity flows during activation. Despite the continuous audible tone, current only flows about 6% of the time in the coagulation mode. In cutting mode, it flows 100% of the time. Recall that power equals voltage times current. The coagulation waveform has low current flow. Therefore, it requires high voltages to achieve power for coagulation. Comparatively, cut waveforms have high current flow and therefore use a low voltage. Since coagulation mode requires high voltage, the risk of arcing or injuring adjoining structures is greater. Cut waveforms are considered safer and associated with lower risks of thermal damage. Between pure cut and pure coagulation are various blend modes, each providing varying frequency of current flow with associated changes in peak voltages. Key takeaways. Monopolar devices pass electricity through the patient to cut and coagulate tissue. Electrosurgical generators deliver constant power and variable voltage to provide controlled tissue effects. Tissue damage is governed by the power density. The smaller the area of contact, the greater the tissue damage. Monopolar electrosurgery generators provide a multitude of energy waveforms to suit the desired tissue effect. These range from pure cut to coagulation and different blend modes in between. The cut waveform causes the least thermal damage of all waveforms. New users of monopolar should start with a lower power setting, then increase as needed for the desired tissue effect. In the next video, we will review monopolar electrosurgery best practices and techniques to help you avoid mistakes.